One of the things that I, I really like about FreeBSD, and this probably happens in almost any Nix flavor, NetBSD, OpenBSD, any BSD, probably in Linux too, is periodic scripts. I thought we'd take a quick look at those today, just to give you an idea of what they're all about and what they do. Should we jump into it? So let's take a look at these periodic scripts and, and see exactly what it is that they do. So I'm in the forward slash etc directory. Now, from memory, there's some in here as well. Yeah, there they are. So in user local etc, there is also a set of periodics. Now this directory, the user local etc directory, is where you would put your own ones. So if you've got something that you want to happen and it's not built into FreeBSD, this is where you would set it up. Or where a piece of software from ports or packages that you've installed will put its periodic script. For instance, I have a few there, the package backup, a DMID code. So for instance, let's take a quick look at the 411, which is the package backup. Let's see what it does, shall we? Creates a new backup of the package database. Yeah, okay, hope it NTPD. Interesting. Yeah, I should probably set that going because I do use OpenNTPD. Anyway, so there's obviously the daily ones there. There's the weeklies, which is the package status, which will just output a status of your packages and any that need updating, and you'll get an email for that. And that's the good thing about periodics is it emails the results to you, assuming you've set that up. So we'll, we'll have a look at that in a minute, but let's go into the monthly statistics. I wonder what that's all about. Current version, do, 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 do. Uh, for systems without periodic.conf use an rc use rc.com i'm going to use periodic.com which is what i use okay statistics yep bsd stats ah that's what this is for bsd stats okay yeah gotcha and obviously there's the security one there as well let's see what's in there package audit rk hunter if you use that rk hunter is something that's worth a video on its own We'll probably look at that. So RK Hunter is um, a rootkit hunter. Just does an in-depth scan looking for rootkits and a few other bits. But we'll we'll jump into that on another video. So let's go back to our ETC, and you'll see that there's a periodic.com. So let's have a look at that. And all I've got in, in there is fprot update enable no. Interesting. That should probably be yes. Or have I not got it installed? Maybe I haven't got it installed. Maybe it's something that just needed to be cleaned out. Anyway, so if I go into the periodic, no, let's not go there first. Let's go into defaults, because what you'll find in here is a, a few files that contain the defaults. So the bluetoothdevice.conf, devfs, the rules, periodic.conf, and rc.conf. Periodic.conf will contain a list of all the, the defaults for the periodic scripts and what runs by default and what doesn't. So let's have a quick look at that one. There we go. So where the periodic.conf's are, where the binary is to run, your daily options. Right, so the, here you go. If you set this, this is where the email will go to. And you can set it to any user or file if you want it to go to a file, which is quite quite good uh daily show success daily show info and bad configs so these are mostly for ufs discs so we don't really need to worry about these clean temps no so what you would do is if you want for instance daily clean messages which is enabled by default let's find one that's off by default okay so if you wanted your daily show bad config you would take that line and instead of changing it here you would put it in the etc periodic.conf and it will override what's in this file. There we go. So have a quick look down. Uh, Gpart backup verbose. No, we don't use that, I don't think. So here's the ZFS stuff. This is quite relevant to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy these lines because I may put those into my own one. Oh, you smigger. Yeah, 
get rid of you and go back to you. Right, okay. Daily calendar, no. Accounting, daily news expire. So this is quite a good one. Back in the day, I used to run uh, end news server. This would expire at all the articles that were old. So like I said, loads of defaults there. Anything that you want, pull out of here, put into your ETC periodic. And let's just check the rc.com and see if there's anything there for periodic. Just the enable cron. Is that the only one? Yeah. Okay. Let's just come out of there. So if we look at our periodic now, our periodic.conf, I've just put these in here. So let's change these. And we'll have it like verbose as well. The more information, the better. So there we go. I should now get new information in my daily periodic emails. Have I got any? I bet I've already deleted them. Yeah, unfortunate. Only if I can trigger one. Okay, so while it's doing that, hopefully that will generate an email for us. Let's take a look at what else is there, shall we? So in the dailies, there will be a load of scripts here. There we go. Clean disks, clean temps, loads, backup, status. And if you notice, these all correspond to what I was talking about in the defaults. Let's have a look at 999. Ah, yeah, it pulls in the what's in the periodic dot local. Oh, the daily dot local script. Backwards compatibility more more than anything else. Not really used anymore. Okay, so that's the daily. Let's look at the weeklies. Not so many there. Not so many that are done weekly. And in monthly, same sort of story. Just a couple. But yeah, so what this does is it just runs through each of these scripts, runs the ones that you specified to run and emails you the output. Hopefully, we'll get that output shortly. It shouldn't take too long. Should have run the weekly one. Never mind. Don't know where I got that from. Not that it matters. So, it's just about waiting for that daily to do. There you go, it's done it. Let's have a look if we've got an email. Yes, we have. And there they are. So this is the kind of output that you get. Let's maximize that. Move over to that. Here we go. So this is the kind of output that you get from a, a periodic. And this is the daily output. Whoa, loads of disk stuff now. That's really good. Didn't get that much before. Where I've changed it, I get more now. That's great. Brilliant stuff. And the other one, the daily security. Basically checks for any PF denied packets, any kernel messages, refused connections, vulnerabilities in your packages and any that are out of date as well. Mismatched checksums for the config files. That can get pretty annoying actually because some of them you have to edit those files but there we go, what can you do? So there you go, that's what your periodics do. One of the, again, another very handy feature of FreeBSD and I'm pretty sure almost any BSD and probably any Linux. I wonder actually, let's have a quick look. Um, yeah, maybe not so much in Linux, but definitely in FreeBSD and any BSD as far as I'm aware. Again, very useful for, for getting information about your system on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. Hope you find that useful and I hope it, it gives you an insight into more of the, the things that you can get out of FreeBSD rather than just blindly waltzing along thinking everything's okay at least you get an insight into to whether it is good or not do leave a comment below and let me know if you, you're running any periodic scripts that are not part of the base system i'd, I'd be quite interested to see them don't forget to, to subscribe and, and share and, and like the video and i'll see you in the next one take care